So you can see here, we've got a field of grass. Uh, essentially, this grass is different from what you would see in a normal game, uh, where uh, you'd have some kind of card with a texture map, uh, similar to what Tom was showing you yesterday in, in Dark Souls with the anti-aliasing. Here, we're representing every blade of grass as a piece of geometry that's generated by our tessellation engine. Uh, as you move in and out, of, uh, move towards the grass and away from other grass, the engine automatically changes the level of detail, the quality level of the grass, and it's seamless. You don't see any popping or uh, any of the sort of effects you would normally see. But if Joe over here could lock the camera adaptive level and move back out, you can see, uh, instead of filling in, yeah, keep, keep pulling out. Um, instead of filling in all the grass since we locked it, this is essentially static from the viewpoint he was at when he first locked it. Uh, so unlock, and then lock it again. Now if we zoom into the grass, after it's been locked in, you can see the detail level um, of the blades. Uh, is, is relatively low. Yeah, you can see the curves aren't really nice, there's tessellation artifacts, but if we, we allow the adaptive level to work, go ahead. Let's see. Wrong button. C. The, the curves at the top over here are perfect with the anti-aliasing and everything because it's actually geometry that's being generated on the fly. Uh, we have millions of blades of glass, grass. If you turn off the floor, you can see how dense it is. It, uh, in a normal game, you generally have to texture map some sort of terrain texture to, to fill in uh, the detail. But we have so much over here that it's unnecessary to, to do so. Turn it back on. The other nice feature of this since we actually have geometry for each blade of grass, it can interact with other geometry in the scene. So we can throw these boxes around, which are being simulated right now with PhysX, and it interacts seamlessly with it, leaving depressions in the grass. Um, we can also do other nice procedural effects. We can add wind to the grass. And each blade of grass is essentially different. Um, right now they look somewhat homogenous, but if you look closely, it's not one texture that's repeated. And they, can, they can bend and whatnot. All right, let's move on to the next slide.